This is a low drift, do it yourself sprayer. The sprayer itself was made by Rimcor. It was reconditioned. The orange part is typical of their products. And then I bought 20 or 30 gallon blue drums and a 55 gallon drum. And I put the 20 gallon drums, cut them in half, put them side by side, and then spliced them with the 55 gallon drums. And I used screws and nuts and bolts and fender washers to join them together. Then I also used some round discs like they use for roofing along with some rivets. And then I attached it with U-bolts to the main frame along the course and it's quite rigid. Then I added large diameter like tractor tire inner tubes, the largest diameter diameter inner tube you can find and cut them in as straight a line as you can, a round product, and then cut little grooves in the back. So the idea is that this will set down and the fingers of the rubber inner tube will actually run across the ground. And in the front I use some um, truck tire, what they call inner liners, underneath the inner tube. They look like that right there. And the idea there is to keep the front skirt pushed out so that it doesn't drag underneath where the spray nozzles are, which I'm going to show you next.